cuckoo crazy. I, I hate this can light. Is it a can light? Whatever. Sorry. Sorry, it's bright. I don't know what to say. This one's off, so maybe I'll do this. I think it's still going to be in the frame. I don't know how to fix it. Put my big head in front of it. Anyway, it is October 11th. Um, my nose is so itchy. It's so dry. My allergies. I don't know what's going on. Um, I woke up at like 6-ish. Didn't get out of bed till 7. Lizzie got up right after me. So now we're eating breakfast and watching Amy at Happy Little Yarn Vlogtober. Day 10. Apparently there's going to be a giveaway on it. So I'm watching it. I'm going to make myself some breakfast. I, I'm going to do some eggs. I, I hate saying like I think I'm going to do. I, I know I'm going to do. It's out. Eggs and bacon. I do not eat meat. Um, but I've been getting this Hooray Foods plant-based bacon. It's one of the best ones. I think it's the best one. Um, I've tried a lot of different ones. It's never going to taste like bacon. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I have not, I haven't eaten meat in, it might be close to 10 years. I've eaten fish, but um, I haven't eaten like land animals. Seven, eight years, eight years. Um, so, oh, so I'm not going to sit here and tell you, like, it tastes just like bacon. I hate when people do that. I hate when they say, like, vegan cheese tastes just like cheese. You'll never know the difference. You're going to know the difference. Um, it doesn't taste just like bacon, but it is one of the better flavors and textures that I've had. And it's good enough is how I feel. Not that I was ever really like a huge bacon fan. I know that people like some people worship bacon. Um, bacon is delicious, but I was never like, oh my gosh, it has to be in everything. Or it was never like a selling feature for me either. Like if someone was like, well, it has bacon in it. I was never like, oh, okay. Like it's good. It's delicious. It's fine. Um, so if you're like obsessed with bacon and you're looking to like make some changes, for whatever your reasons may be. This, I feel like it's a good enough substitute, may not be a good enough substitute for you. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Bacon and eggs. I have a long work day ahead of me. I have a lot of work to do, and I also have to go to the grocery store today, and I have to go to the post office today. So I am feeling pretty confident that I can get it all done. I'm definitely gonna get like my daily work done, but there's stuff that I have to do every day and then there's stuff that I have to get done within a month. Um, so, um, I'm almost done actually with my monthly stuff. I have some insurance phone calls I have to make, which can go either way. Sometimes I've made a ton in one day. I made a ton of progress. Some days I'll be on the phone with one insurance company for an hour. So <laughs> we'll see. Um, but I'm feeling pretty confident that I can have a very productive day. Um, What's the temperature out? 45 degrees. So it's a little chilly. And I don't know what the weather is supposed to be. It does look like it rained. I don't know if it's supposed to continue to rain. Um, I haven't even looked, but at some point I probably am going to have to take Liz out for a W-A-L-K if the weather is good enough for it. Um, that's it. So... I'll try to talk to you guys. I will try to, I've been doing better, I think this year than last year about like talking to you guys and having like, I know last year I had a couple of vlogs that were like two minutes long. <laughs> um, so, oh, also I edited, I edited day nine and tried to upload it last night and this morning it was still uploading. So I think it's processing right now. We'll see. Um, yet yeah, day eight I did and then Amy asked me if I did it because she couldn't see it and it was set to private. So I'm wondering if it uploads quicker when it's private and then in the morning I can just make it public. Maybe I'll try that tonight because that was like weird. Like all night long I had it up. I left the app even running while my phone was plugged in. I left the app running. But um, it still wasn't done this morning. So I don't know what the heck happened. I also have to make coffee. I'm in desperate need for coffee. 
I mean, I don't know why I say that coffee. It's not like it really does anything for me. I just like the taste of it and I feel better mentally. It's not even really like a significant difference. Like mentally, I just like it. it makes me happy. Coffee makes me happy. All right, that's it. Hello, I just got back from the grocery store. Lizzie's sniffing me like it's her job. I didn't put the light on because I didn't want to blind you. Um, but look at this beautiful natural light I'm having. So oh, look what I got for lunch. So I go to Big Y to go grocery shopping because it's more expensive but more convenient. And they sometimes have this lobster mac and cheese. Yum. So the downside is that it takes a little bit. It's like 20 to 25 minutes in the oven. It's already 1.30. You know, you heard me before be like, it's a little late for lunch, which I know to some normal people, normal people, it's probably not. But my husband wakes up really early for work. He's work he has to work by seven and then so he eats breakfast early, eats lunch early, and then we eat dinner early. So for me, sometimes it's better to be on that schedule because when he comes home, he gets home at four, but we're usually eating by like five or 5.30, which is, I know very early, <clears throat> but then we go to bed early because he gets up early. So my whole day is like runs on like an earlier kind of thing. <clears throat> so I know that 1.30, I won't be eating till at least two o'clock after two o'clock, which I know to a lot of people is not very early, but it is for me. I also want to go grocery shopping, treat myself to Starbucks because they just opened one. <laughs> it's been so bad. It's been so bad. I earned like a free coffee so quickly. It's really, really bad. And also for some reason, Sean gets an alert on his phone when I use my Starbucks gift card and I have no idea why. So I'll be like, oh, I went to Starbucks. He's like, I know. But I finally got a pumpkin cream cold brew what the first few times I tried to get it it was sold out and then I wasn't really in the mood for it I was been drinking dragon drink so I was gonna get a dragon drink today I'm like no you know what I'm gonna get a pumpkin cream cold brew yep for my fans because my fans want me to do fall things for Vlogtober I'm doing this for you guys I'm also extremely thirsty because I had zero water today and yesterday I had no water either I'm it's really bad. It's really, really bad, guys. And I'm not one to be like, that's bad. I was so bad I ate cookies. That's not my jam, but like, you need to hydrate, guys. You need to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I also needed new creamer. So I got Starbucks Pumpkin Spice Latte Creamer. My sister said it's the best one right now. So before I was Chobani was really good. Um, but she said right now, um, also, I'm going to do a grocery store haul for you guys. Let me see if there's anything else. I'm just going to give you my recommendations for grocery shopping. Also, this is a, this is a big recommendation. 10 out of 10. Tostitos, black bean and garlic. So good. You don't, it tastes like it has dip on it. I mean, other than being dry, but like, oh, so good. And you couldn't get them for the longest time. I mean, it was like a year or more. And Sean would be like, I look every time I go. So good. The best. 10 out of 10. Um, also, I don't know. That's it for my recommends. I got normal stuff like tomatoes and I'm making shrimp scampi at some point this week. And I do have to say, I do sometimes put tomatoes in my shrimp scampi. It's not really shrimp scampi. It's like shrimp pasta. And I really like putting tomatoes in it. And I do have to say, I prefer the cherubs sweet salad or snacking tomatoes. They're very good. So that's the kind of tomato I put on them. Not like a whatever. I picked this up because it was on end cap and I'm hungry and I went to grocery store hungry. Cabot Seriously Sharp Cheddar Cheese Popcorn. Haven't tried it yet. Looks like it's right up my alley. Um, 
when I eat it, I will tell you I'm not gonna have it now because I'm drinking a pumpkin cold brew. Although I am gonna be eating this lobster mac and cheese, but maybe I'll be done. That's really wishful thinking that I'll be done with my cold brew before my lunch is ready. Cause like this is gonna take me four hours probably to drink. I'm the slowest drinker on the face of the planet. Although I am thirsty, so maybe I'll drink it faster. That's it. I was on the phone with insurance this morning. Part of my job is to call on open insurance claims my least favorite part of the job. Sometimes it goes really quickly and sometimes it doesn't. And uh, I yelled at two people before 10 a.m. But they deserved it. And I wasn't yelling, I was stern because they were giving me the runaround. Maybe I should start doing PSAs because I actually just talked to a patient the other day. I think it was Friday. So Friday she called, I talked to her and then Monday I talked to her again. And I just feel really bad because like, She's in a tough position. She's taking care of elderly parents and she also um, has a kid in college. Well, she has three kids, she said. So it's like she's in that in-between thing and she didn't understand her insurance and I felt really bad. And I was just thinking on the way home, like maybe I should, like, I don't know, like I'm not gonna do it pro bono, but like what if what if something happened to my job? What, what would I do? And I like, I don't know, maybe I would be like a, private hire me if you need help understanding your insurance <laughs> not medicare though because i don't understand that but um i didn't understand insurance until i started working in it and so it's like i feel really bad because it's meant to be confusing it's confusing on purpose and it's terrible so i sometimes fight insurance companies to do what they're supposed to do and i don't like it's my least favorite part of my job but i do it so I didn't really get as far as I thought. And then it's like, I really hate calling insurance companies in the afternoon because I feel like there's a longer hold time, especially the day after a holiday. So I don't know, maybe I'll see how far I get. Sometimes, sometimes I do really well with insurance companies in the afternoon. So we'll see how far I get. It is like kind of a shortish week because I have a lot to do. And Ryan Beck is coming up. I don't know if you guys heard, but Ryan Beck is this weekend. Um... You know, and then next week we're going away as well. So I just kind of feel like I have like this deadline, which I don't really, it's only the 11th, but I just, I have to get them done by the end of the month. And then I just feel like I'm running out of time, but I'm not really. That's it. That's my little rant. It's not really a rant, but that's what I got for you. I'll tell you how the popcorn is. See you later. Hello. Um, Sean took Liz for a walk. He asked me if I wanted to go. I probably should have, but I didn't. Um, so I'm just sitting here hanging out with Kitty. <laughs> um, I am knitting on a ear warmer. Um, I kind of messed up on the bottom, but that's okay because it's just gonna get um uh stitched together. I have this one. This is what it looks like. I will try to put the name of the on the screen, um, but this is what it's supposed to look like. Um, I was wearing this out with a friend the other day and she said she wanted one. I had yarn left over for it. Um, well, it, I made a sweater out of this yarn, so I had some left over. So um, I said, yeah, I have yarn already if you want this color. <laughs> and I will make you one. I, I, I really don't love these because they puff my hair up. Um, I thought maybe if I put my hair in a ponytail, I also, I think I made it as like a test for something, not a test knit, but like I was trying something out. But, um, so I normally wouldn't make one like this for myself, but I had it and then I couldn't find the hat that I wanted the other day because it was pretty chilly in the morning. I couldn't find the hat I wanted the other day. So I just grabbed this because this is what I could find. And then I happened to be with her and she she asked for one. So normally I would just take it off my head, but she, I think she might have a smaller head than me. So um, I actually think I might have to make it a little smaller anyway. Um, but yeah, it's super easy. It's a free pattern. Um, and I will try to put it down below. I found it on Ravelry, but the page, it links to her website. So, um, so that's what I'm knitting on. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I have an ear thing in, so that probably was pretty loud. Um, if I can think about it, I will try to cut that out if it's too loud when I'm editing. Um, 
I am all kind of caught up on vlogs. Actually, somebody suggested a bunch of vlogs, so maybe I'll look, but I'm caught up on the Vlogtobers that I normally watch. So I'm trying to find something to watch, but like I said, somebody actually suggested some, so I think I'm gonna maybe check those out. Um, and that's it, I guess.